my three words for CCAS would be outcomes, poverty alleviation, and resilient communities. Uh, at the heart of, um, of uh, not being able to adapt to climate change is really poverty. And so if we could get farming, households, earning a decent living from what they do, and then resilient communities because of the shocks that we're getting in terms of floods and droughts. So how do we build the resilience of communities to those kinds of things? And of, I mentioned outcomes because I think that research has to fundamentally change and we have to be very outcome oriented in research. In, in Africa or in Eastern and Southern Africa, there is no lack of, of policy. But the biggest challenge is implementation. Taking these policies into action and, and be able to implement them at the grassroots level. The second challenge is, is once communities really uh, uh, feel that a certain technology is important for them, then how do you take things at a scale? Let's talk about digital solutions, for example. African countries are now eager to use digital solutions uh, to solve some of the challenges of agriculture. Uh, not only that, they wanted to take these digital solutions and integrate them into the national conventional agricultural extension systems and, and create e-extension systems. They feel that these are great equalizers, uh, that you can push things or, or you can send message in, in, in a manner that addresses gender and, and other equities. But how do you incentivize that? How do you uh, create awareness? How do you make it attractive uh, is, is, is the work that, that we need to do. Uh, I feel that there is opportunity. There is an effort, but I would say more needs to be done uh, around this area. We see strategy after strategy, words after words. So how do we take it to action? That's, that's a very good and challenging question. And it's really about the culture of the organization. You can have the best words, best strategies, best intentions, but unless you have the right culture within your organization, it's not going to happen. And that's what the, my own personal research has shown. So the emphasis that we place within CCAFs is to develop the culture. So although we are a research program, we are more like a science movement. We have a group of people who have similar values. We bring them together and help them to do what they do best. How are we building on the legacy and 50 years of research moving forward? I mean, as a learning organization, you've got to be reflecting on how we've done, what's worked in the past, what's failed and failing forward, as we, as we like to talk about, um, especially in CCAPS. Just looking for one little change here without seeing the broader picture then we get into trouble. And I think that's, that's really the, the, the critical thing that we've learned over the years, to, to just look around a little bit more and, and not just look down and do, do your thing. Our approach to communications evolved over time. What made it different was that we started to see communications as a vital tool in achieving research impact. It was also about reputation and legitimacy and getting the research out there. But so much more than that, it was about getting research into the hands of the right people who could use it to make a difference in, in their farms, in their food systems, in the policy making world and so forth. And so putting communications at the heart of the whole research process from the very beginning, um, creating products, creating outputs with partners, communicating together with partners, um, I think that approach is pretty special and unique and has really made a difference. The role of young people in the CCAF story is quite a, quite a big one. Um, I think it's been pretty awesome to have been given such a big role. We're given you know, a lot of room to grow and to make mistakes and to really contribute to CCAFs and to what CCAFs does. So I think the role of youth is to really not just have that kind of facilitating role and not just have you know, a supporting role, but also to have a leading role. And yeah, I think it's, it's an incredible kind of role that we are playing. And it's not just kind of one-sided, it's very you know, fluid.